All right, here we are, demolition derby time, only a couple of hours away at the Royal Canberra Show. And Sexy Joe Gleason, this is the car that you're taking into the demolition derby. This is it. Now, I notice if I can just get not too much backlight, there we go, mm. you've actually shaved a um, stuntman like mustache mm. in for today's. Uh, Today's running. Yeah, yeah, I have uh, Rod. I thought it uh, gives me the edge over the other drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if it'll play out like that. But All we'll right. see. All right, so we'll sure. see. Now, uh, speed holes. Uh, Homer Simpson yeah. uh, put these in his car. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought that's what you'd done until I realised that obviously the previous owner of this car had just installed speakers yeah. by smashing them through <laughs> the, uh, the the metal part. Oh, yeah. crikey, that's going to cut me open. The uh, the parcel shelf uh, here. Yeah. Look, I think I imagine that he or she enjoyed listening to Mix 106.3 quite loud. Yep. So that's uh, that's a feature of it. Obviously, the... Uh, the gold chains here, Rod, are uh, a feature. Well, bling's important, I suppose. Well, I mean, Flavor Flav did it uh, on his chest. Uh, we've done it on the car. So, yeah, right, so gold chains. But from, a, from a, a tactical point of view, the guys at um, uh, Easy Scrap, or Easy mm -hmm. Toe, is it? Easy Scrap, yeah. They, they've actually, they seem to have a bit of knowledge of this demolition derby business, you know. Oh, they know what they're doing, Rod. So they've welded chains on there. They've yep. explained to you the danger spots that you don't want to be hit on the car. Talk yes. us through that. Yeah, so uh, look, uh, apparently there is a, a very, very bad place to be hit on the old uh, the old Commodore. And that's right here at the front left. Why? Uh, well, uh, apparently it, it, it stops the car. Right. Yeah. So this car is actually advanced enough knowledge. that somewhere under here is where the the computer. What's what sort of what model car is this? A VL. 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 Right. Now the VL actually had an onboard computer. Yeah. So just behind the radiator, if the radiator comes back and hits that, game over. So if any of the other cars have that sort of intimate knowledge of your model of car, you yeah. know they'll be gunning. For that spot, right. have you done similar research into the uh, vehicles that you're up against? I know that there's some Falcons out there. Uh, hit them in the rear left. That's where their uh, fuel tank is. Is that true? And apparently, if you hit that, game over. It for explodes. Them. Uh, if you see a Jag, which there is one out there, don't even worry about it. That'll just break down anyway. So, <laughs> Very good. Uh, and look, the uh, the final feature, I suppose, over here uh, is that you've sacrificed your favourite T-shirt in the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've got a flag. Yeah, look, uh, I needed a white flag. I realised when I got here I didn't have one. So there, I just took the shirt off my own back. And normally I would be wearing a Mix 106.3 t-shirt because I'm very proud of it. But no, that is my that is my flag. So if uh, I'm suddenly out of the game, I have to reach out with my uh, octopus-like limbs, snap that off, and people know that I am... Wave the white it. flag. Oh, is that a rule? You have to? Yeah, I just have to snap it off. So usually when you give up, you, you wave it. But in this scenario, once it's gone... People oh, and you really out. can snap it off. This, okay. is a, this is a stick from this a tree. A stick, yep. Yep, it's pretty high tech. The technology and the tradition of something that I thought had gone out with boxing tents in far <laughs> north Queensland in the late 70s is still alive and well. It's back, baby. Incredible. Good luck. Yep, that's the sort of technical know-how that's going to keep you running right the way to the very end, kicking tyres. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs>